In Psalm 86, verse 15, the writer exclaims in thankful praise, You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And as I reflect on what God has done in and through us in the past year, I am grateful to God for his faithfulness. And this video aims to give a snapshot of what God has been doing in and through us, and also to say thank you to you who've given yourselves to serve the Lord. Above Bar is a diverse church family with about a thousand people from over 35 nations attending our services in any given month. Each Sunday requires about 140 people serving in order to put on the three services. First impressions, children's work and music account for 100 of these alone. In our children's work, we normally have each week about 200 children experiencing church community through GSMA, Pop-In or WOW. About 100 volunteers serve faithfully to teach and remind our children of the Lord's goodness. We now have three established youth groups with over 60 young people regularly engaged in exciting and relevant activities. We've started a very own youth mentoring centre and have a presence in a local secondary school four days a week. We are a university city and over the past year about 100 students have attended Sunday services with over 50 students regularly involved with Hungry, a uh, one-to-one, -one, who are part of the Navigator student group. Let's hear from a student how her life has been impacted during her time in Southampton. So I'm Cara um, and I'm a third year adult and children's nurse. I've got one more year left of that. I came along on the first Sunday, immediately felt really welcome. I think there was a student lunch after Sunday, um, after the morning service, and was welcomed immediately into the group. I was asked around by the student worker for a coffee at his house and yeah, just got involved in from then. Student nursing is quite an intense way of living. We are in placement and also working full time a lot of the time. So having a community of friends and um, other students around me has just been really beneficial to, you know, have that support when things have been tough. And also emotionally, nursing can be quite tricky. So at points when my mood has been quite low, and um, just being pointed back to Jesus so constantly through the student ministry, but also having an amazing one-to-one -one last year. My friend Helen um, was there with me right the way through it, and. Um, just having somebody who could again point me back to Jesus through Bible studies and just knowing that there were people praying for me both in the student community but in the wider church was just really amazingly helpful. Glow, our 20s group, has continued to grow as they launched their sixth home group in 2017 and sought to reach out to their friends by starting a Cafe Wednesday outreach event. We currently have 36 home groups which seek to both support those within the group and reach out to their local community. 36 people completed the newcomers course since April 2017 and most of these have been linked up with a home group. Home groups are served faithfully by a team of 19 PLPs, that's pastoral link people, who are there to support and advise home group leaders when needed. We've had two Journey to Wholeness weekends where 20 people were helped to go deeper in their walk with God. We've delivered two Restored Lives courses helping a dozen or so people move forward after separation and divorce. The Marriage Enrichment Day enabled eight couples to invest in their marriage further. We walked alongside 10 couples as they prepared for marriage. About 60 people regularly attend Cameo, our group for the over 50s, which meets fortnightly, as well as enjoying the lovely meal. Many have also attended the Bible study, seminar talks, and prayer meetings at Cameo. In Formation School, our course which grows leaders to make disciples, we celebrated with the 26 students who graduated in the summer of 2017, and 22 students are benefiting from the learning community developed at the school this year. Let's hear from a former student about how the course is still impacting his life now. I'm Tim Henstock. Uh, I work as a professor of geology in Southampton University. I learned about God, about what God thinks about me, about um, different gifts that I was starting to explore at that time, how to take what I was learning and actually um, apply it practically in discipling people. What did it mean to be involved in ministry in terms of my own relationship with God? How important it is to be spending time growing my own relationship with God in order to be able to serve other people. As well as caring for people in the church, we are also an outward-looking community. On a Thursday morning late in 2017, 
we served our 10,000th full English at the big breakfast. We regularly welcome over 90 guests and more to life is going from strength to strength. Up our United Parenting Group, which is the only Christian single parent support group in Hampshire, continues to grow and be a beacon of hope for the 15 or so single parents who are involved with it. Let's hear from Natasha, who is a recent member from the group. My name's Natasha, and I have two wonderful little girls, Jasmine, who's five, and Emily, who's shortly going to be three. I've been part of United Parents for um, three years. I come along to Poppins, the mother and toddler group. I saw the notice on the wall for the United Parents group. Um, very nervous, but the great thing um, with the United Parents group is it's single parents, male and female, all coming together. So we've all got similar kind of challenges. We're all there to support each other. So being part of United Parents has helped bring me closer to, to God. God was always um, part of my life, but I did find myself moving away. So having the support of the single parents groups brought me back to church more regularly, um, and it's helping me grow my faith day by day. Since opening our Christians Against Poverty Debt Centre, we've seen 165 clients and have consistently had a waiting list of about two months. We have seen 29 people become debt free and 22 praying prayers of commitment. We also ran two life skills and a release group course, which helped people make fresh starts. Let's hear from Cookie about how CAP has impacted her life. My name's Cookie and I came to a bed bar uh, for an appointment with Roz and CAP about two years ago. And through over 30 years of struggling with drugs and alcohol, I had built up a few debts. Through CAP, about a year ago, I became debt free. At the spiritual health weekend, I remember saying to God, okay, Lord, please talk to me this weekend. Show me that you care for me. Well, from the beginning to the end, God spoke to me so many times. And I've even managed through the release group which is part of CAP, to be over five months clean of one addiction. I have never really felt judged here, and that acceptance, love and care has helped me to truly find freedom in Christ. We've run three Alpha courses and experimented with Jesus, the Game Changer course in a coffee shop. Over 20 guests have attended a Seekers course during this time. We've had the privilege of baptizing eight people and there are more waiting to make this significant commitment. Our internationals work has continued to grow with over 20 people from about a dozen nations regularly attending the English Language Cafe. Many of these have also attended Global Gathering, Alpha or Keep Fit. Here's Biddy giving us a glimpse of how the nations are coming to Southampton. Hello, my name is Biddy Taylor. I'm involved in the internationals ministry. I'd never heard about Jesus until I came to England. Those are the words of one of our Chinese friends as she was returning to China last year. She and another friend had been here for the year. They were psychiatrists and our friend Jing was here with her daughter and her mother. They were befriended by people from above our church, she invited them into their homes, gave them meals, and they became good friends. And Jing uh, became very excited by the children's work here. She got involved with Sunday school uh, work here and also went to WOW. Towards the end of their year, another family arrived and the daughter was in the same class at school as Jing's daughter. You must come to Above Bar Church, they said to this new family. And so along came this other family and they too got involved and they too were befriended by different people here in the church. And then towards the end of the year, after the first family had returned, the second family said to the third family, come to Above Bar Church. And so that family came along and they're still coming along to Above Bar at the moment. Those that have gone back, we're still in touch with, and they still want to know more about Jesus. I think the highlight for me is just seeing Above Bar Church 
as such an international family. This morning, I spoke to people from Romania, Iran, India, Malaysia, Indonesia. It really is exciting to be part of this international family. And it's not just in Southampton that we can celebrate what God is doing in and through us. We've been involved with Babel Translation in Madagascar, Papua New Guinea, and some Muslim majority nations. We helped with church planting in Spain and France. We've been involved with disciple making and church building in Latvia, the Middle East, and China. And in 2017, the first group of students graduated as physiotherapists in Uganda. We've helped deliver conferences, seminars, and lectures in Poland, Germany, Norway, Cayman Islands, and Latin America. Short-term teams have been to Lebanon, Ukraine, and the Logos Hope in the Dominican Republic. And we've been involved with scores of conferences, camps, and missions in the UK. Wow, God has been doing so much amongst us, and there are many things I haven't mentioned. So I apologize if your important work has not been sufficiently highlighted. We really appreciate what you've done. And we've only highlighted initiatives which are organized by Above Bar Church. Another key work which God has been doing over the past year is through you in the place where he has put you, where you spend most of your everyday life, on your front lines, in your community or workplaces. We celebrate those who are modeling godly character in difficult family situations, or molding culture in the office, or ministering grace and love to people who don't deserve it, or being messengers of the gospel to those who are hurting. Thank you for bringing rays of hope to dark places and being salt in hurting and broken communities. The Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter one, verse three said, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And as I reflect on all that God has done in and through us at Above Bar, my heart overflows with thankfulness to God and gratefulness to those who have sacrificially invested time energy and money in things which will last for eternity. And I'm looking forward to what God will do in and through us in the city, in the East and around the world in the year to come. So may God be gracious to you and bless you and make his face shine on you so that his ways may be known on earth, his salvation among the nations. Thank you.